The Halo TV show won't please everyone, and that's the point, according to the 343 producer on the show. Does that mean they're running away with the show to make it to their own thing, not for Halo fans? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more stuff like it. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So recently, the head of Transmedia, Kiki Wolfkill, had a bit of a self-interview with Deborah Snyder, who's part of the Justice League movie that's currently being worked on at the moment. And they had a nice, like, 35-minute long interview on IGN, just kind of talking about their experiences of being women within their fields of work, as the video was released to basically kind of celebrate International Women's Day. Though, we did get some nice little details about the Halo TV show, and there's been two main headlines that really come from this interview that I think people are really taking out of context. One, being the quote of saying not everyone's gonna like this show, and two, saying that there's no incest in the show. So in this video, I wanted to provide more context behind that and give you the true news of this interview, which actually was rather insightful. So let's actually first go into these really popular quotes I've been seeing going around. Let's first talk about the, how the show is not going to please everyone. I think this one quote here really helps put more context to what she's mentioning behind that. So Kiki Wolfkill here mentions, the hope is you can play the game and you can have this sense of who this character is and you can love that, and then you can stop and put that aside and enjoy this other experience and get taken on a different journey and see that character in a different way without feeling like it's impeding on a character you already have in your heart around the game. It's amazing to have these dedicated fan bases and communities, but it's also hard because there are so many diverse perspectives. At some point, you can't satisfy all the voices you need to have your own voice. I say this is absolutely important when it comes to creating any form of just media and just being a creative outlet in general. It doesn't even have to be about video games or movies. It could just be anything. There have been widely enjoyed items of media, but there's never been a universally enjoyed piece of media. So keeping in perspective of Halo, think of all the Halo games that have been released. You probably have your favorite. You probably have your least liked one. And some other person out there, probably your least liked Halo is probably their favorite one. Within the last couple of years, I've seen a huge resurgence of just Halo Reach popularity and saying that's a lot of people's favorite game. Where at the time, that game was hugely controversial and people actually hated it. And it kind of started the downtrend of Halo as a whole. So when people hear that headline, they probably think, oh my God, they're running away with Halo to do their own thing. They're not going to try to please the fans at all. They specifically said in this video that they want to respect the journeys that you've had with these characters previously but also want to expand on them they did here with this quote it's such an interesting needle to thread with beloved characters you have to give a different perspective on them how do you make their journey meaningful in a different way while respecting their past journey and the things that people love about the journeys they've already been on. It's a constant challenge, sometimes a struggle. There's different burdens that will go on to the TV show than the game carries. So if we can navigate where we have a little bit of freedom to try to explore some different ideas or express a character differently, we try to take those. Again, specifically mentioning that they want to at least honor the experience that we've had with these characters, right? But keep in mind, this Halo TV show is actually a bit of a prequel and will take place before any of the video games. So it does provide a lot of creative freedom with the stories that they want to tell within the Halo TV show, but obviously they want to maintain some kind of semblance of what these characters that we're going to see from the games in the show, like Captain Keys, Miranda Keys, Master Chief, Cortana, Catherine Halsey as well. So it's all about finding that balance. And again, like we've said previously on our other Halo TV show news videos that we do know that the TV show is not going to be canon. So they're not going to be tied to any kind of specific events that happen within Halo's universe. Now that does sound terrible, but keep in mind, Bungie did this with Halo Reach as well, where many of the events that happen in the game of Halo Reach don't happen at all or don't line up properly with the book Fall of Reach, which is what the game was inspired on. 
So just sometimes you need to take some creative liberties to tell a more cohesive narrative. Now, did I mention incest earlier in this video? Yeah, I did, because a huge comparison with the TV show of Halo is actually to Game of Thrones. They've made this comparison previously where they say they want to have the production level of Game of Thrones put into this Halo TV show. Obviously not like production level that we saw in like season five and later in Game of Thrones. I'm talking about the first few seasons. But knowing that they're willing to put this much effort into the show showcases that they believe that they have something special. And again, they want to talk about the comparisons. They mentioned this specifically in this interview saying a lot of the background of Halo is this sort of political drama. It's something that is touched on really lightly in the games and you see more of in some other mediums. Some of that Game of Thrones style complexity is interesting. And this was obviously a joke. It's a joke, but stated specifically in this interview saying that unlike Game of Thrones, however, that Halo TV show will not feature incest. No, jokingly saying, no incest planned at all for this show. I will say that if you're looking for that, you won't find it here. Again, this was a very casual conversation that Deborah Snyder and Kiki Wolfkill had. So they probably just making, cracking some jokes in the media that they work on. Is it cringy? Yes. Is it awkward? Absolutely. But was it meant to be a joke? Absolutely. And it seems like the Halo TV show is still recording stuff for their first season, stated here saying that filming has restarted in Budapest under certain health and safety protocols, meaning that it's most likely going to be a full year from now until we actually get a chance to watch our first episode, which we do know that will release in 2022 on Paramount+. Plus. Hopefully, I've also seen this as well, as saying it'd be Q1, so most likely springtime, late winter time for the release date of the Halo TV show. As someone who was super bummed when the Halo movie just completely fell apart, I never thought that we would have some kind of visual media like a TV show or movie ever happen with Halo. So exciting to see this actually finally happen. It's been a long road. They've really tried to make this work and I'm very excited about it. And I will 100% be covering the Halo TV show on this channel when it finally does go live in 2022. I'll leave a link in the description down below to the full interview if you guys want to watch that. It's 35 minutes long, or if you just want to read this article that I've cited as well, link in the description down below for the sources. While you're down there, how about check out the Twitch channel. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night playing some MCC. We recently played through Halo Wars. Looking forward to play through Halo Wars 2 very soon as well. So hopefully see you guys there on the channel. Again, link to my Twitch is in the description down below. Make sure to follow so you get notifications whenever we do go live. But thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you've been on the loop for Halo for the last few days, or so check out our videos on the screen right here again link to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out